morning, everybody. It's uh, Tuesday morning at 8.38, and this is your pre-opening comment. It is number 1049 for Tuesday morning. Okay, so um, we had a bunch of numbers this morning, but uh, let me start with Asia being up and Europe being uh, about unchanged uh a little on the mixed side. At 7.50, the uh, Dow was showing the future, showing up 360, NASDAQ up 282, and the S&P up 60. At 8.30, we had a a series of numbers. We had October trade, which actually improved to only a negative 67.1 trillion. And uh, that was versus 80.9. So that is substantially better. Unfortunately, productivity was a big miss, down 5.2. Expectations were for minus 5. And the reason for that was that unit labor costs were up 9.6 versus expectations for 8. Those are pretty big numbers. So uh, now, uh, looking at the futures, the Dow futures are up 352. S&P futures are up 62. And uh, NASDAQ also remains in the same area, up 280. So uh, no real impact uh, from up, NASDAQ now up 307. So uh, not a lot of impact from the numbers. Uh, Intel uh, is going to um, spin off Mobileye into a listing. The stock is 5519 up 420 or 8.2%. It was the only one uh, of the chip stocks that were actually up yesterday, and Acadia, ACAD, 2273, up 333, 17% on positive phase three trials. And the ECB this morning put out a bit of a warning that, um, you know, as the, uh, as the uh, stimulus is withdrawn, that there is a uh, some of the assets that are carried can deteriorate. Uh, And that's just exactly as I've been talking about reaching uh, in order to get yield uh, on the basis of lowering your um, credit requirements. The chart on the screen is the oil. And again, it is higher. It is solidly through this Uh, rising 200-day moving average that we've been pointing out. It's also substantially higher than the high close of 69.95 that we had here a little over a week ago. Uh, There should be nothing really but air all the way up to uh, the 74 area, and then uh, we should run into some trouble between 75 and 76.77. And as always, this market is extremely subject to uh, COVID news. Uh, The only thing I can say about the current COVID news is, you know, like last night's um, daily note, it's not as bad as everybody thought. And so uh, the markets are you know, full force back to the upside. Uh, Yesterday, I also mentioned in last night's Uh, note about the uh, resurgence of Ethereum. Uh, This morning, Bitcoin is 51,000 and low change, and uh, that's up about 2,100 or 4.2%. Yesterday, it was uh, down pretty hard, uh, but 
you can see it closed pretty much right on that 200 day moving average and this morning is a bit higher into the gap that it left um, I would think that we wouldn't have much trouble getting to 53 or 54,000 but more importantly um, a look at the ethereum in comparison to that ethereum yesterday was basically unchanged right here it was down seven and a half dollars which on a uh, 4200 uh, price is you know really a rounding error as you can see it also gapped up this morning and it's up 3.33 so we're 50 percent higher on the net change in ethereum versus uh, bitcoin and i think that this uh, surge to favor Ethereum, which is something that I've been talking about now for months, uh, based on the fact that it is, in fact, used for more commerce and the NFT platforms or the NFTs are built on the Ethereum blockchain platform. So uh, a lot of things going through. And as you can see, um, it really didn't have the kind of decline that the uh, Bitcoin did. Uh, gold is about unchanged this morning, uh, up uh, now down $2, uh, silver uh, up a nickel, copper unchanged, uh, net gas up five and a half, along with uh, the rest of the oil complex, the energy complex, and uh, Sharif Suki was on last night on Fast Money from the... Um, conference in uh, Houston and the stock acted really well it had closed about 330 which in fact was uh, up on the day and looking fairly strong let's take a quick look T E L L And as you can see, we've held that $3 range. Uh, we closed, as I said, uh, we closed yesterday 331 up 20. Um, and uh, overnight, uh, actually extended hours, it traded as high as 365. Right now, it's 351, which is up another uh, 20 cents. So looking substantially better. All right, everyone. Have a good day. Be careful out there. Um, you know, I can't buy these kind of rallies. So, uh, you know, I'm going to sit on the sidelines here a little and see what develops. Uh, but uh, we are getting extended again. Uh, and uh, we will get overbought very quickly. Have a good one.